In this video, we will be covering how to use the Employees functionality in FlowHub to set up employee profiles, add employee data, and set up system permissions for those employees. Let's get started. This is our Employees section of the platform. The purpose of Employees is to add, edit, and inactivate employees. Let's select the addition symbol at the top right of the section to add a new employee. In this window, we're able to add all the details needed for our employees. All the fields with the asterisks are going to be required in order to save this window. Let's add whomever is going to be assisting with the building of your dispensary. First, we're going to enter their name. The next field is going to be their badge number or username. Now, depending on your state, the expiration date field may be required. Lastly, we're going to add their email address. At the bottom right of the window, are the user permissions. Let's give this employee that's helping with the project full permissions of the platform by selecting all permissions. Now for your bud tenders, our best practice would be to give them manage customers. This will allow them to check in new patients and customers into FlowHub and make transactions. If you'd like to give them more permissions, please read carefully the description of the permission that populates when you put your cursor over it. This tells you what the employee will have access to within the platform. If you have any questions about these permissions, please let your implementation managers know. Now, before saving this, I'd like to point out a few features. At the bottom left of the window, we have the option to upload employee documents. Here we can save copies of driver's license numbers, state-issued badges, W-4s, etc. to the cloud. Also, at the top left, we have the silhouette. If you'd like to further customize your flow hub, you can upload an avatar. This can be an image of the employee, their favorite cartoon character, musician, actor, pretty much anything that you'd like. Now that we've gotten these covered, let's save this employee. Once it has been saved, the employee just added will receive the login email to create their password and PIN number. Make sure to let the employee know what their username is after saving, this will prevent any confusion. In summary, we selected the addition symbol at the top right of the page, built out the information in the window, and saved the employee. Once you've completed this step, update the task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task. 